0.17 moles of argon gas is admitted to an evacuated 70 cubic centimeter container at 20 degrees Celsius. The gas then undergoes an isochoric heating to a temperature of 300 degrees Celsius. What is the final pressure of the gas? And then part B says choose the pressure versus volume diagram representing the process. Let's write down what we know. Um, not M, N. N is our number of moles. We have 0 0.17 moles of argon. And they tell us that the volume is going to be 70 cubic centimeters. They tell us the initial temperature is 20 degrees Celsius and the temperature final is 300 degrees Celsius. And then they tell us that it is an isochoric process. So we have th three different processes that we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about isochoric, isothermal, and isobaric. So isochoric, iso of course means same, and isochoric means same volume. Isothermal, thermal of course sounds like heat, so it is going to be same temperature. And then isobaric, baric sounds like barometer, which is used to measure air pressure of course, so isobaric is same pressure. So we're talking in this one about an isochoric process, so the volume doesn't change. So now this volume is going to be our initial volume and our final volume. So since we're talking about a gas and it is going to be a ideal gas situation, so we'll use PV equals NRT or the ideal gas law. So now we need to make sure that whenever we put any of the units into PV NRT, we, they need to be standard units so that whatever we get out of the equation we know is standard. So let's change everything. We have moles, which is good of course. Volume, we have centimeters cubed, but we need meters cubed. So if we just think about this real quick, let me draw a little box over here. We have this box and each side is a meter long. If we want to find the volume of that, we take the length times the width times the height, of course, which would give us one meter cubed. But we have centimeters cubed, so if we change all these to centimeters, now we have 100 meters centimeters for the length, 100 centimeters for the width, and 100 centimeters for the height. So now when we do that, we take the length times the width times the height, we get 100 cubed centimeters cubed. So that gives us, for a volume, 1 million centimeters cubed. So 1 meter cubed is equal, is equal to 1 million centimeters cubed. So a quick way to do this, if you're going between these, is to move the decimal place over 6. So we go 1, 2, 3, four, five, six. So we have 70 centimeters cubed. You can either go 70 cm cubed, do the long dimensional analysis way. And we have one times 10 to the six centimeters cubed for every one meter cubed. Those cancel, and, but if you do it, you'll notice that, hey, we just moved the decimal place from here over this way, six places. So we'll have zero point zero 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 seven meters cubed. Temperature we want this in Kelvin so we add 273 so that is equal to 293 Kelvin and 273 plus 300 is now going to be 573 Kelvin. Okay, so now we have all of the correct units that we need, and so now we can solve this equation up here, PV NRT. We want what is the final pressure, so if we divide both sides by volume, now we've isolated volume, so pressure is equal to NRT over volume. 
and they wanted what is the final pressure of the gas. So if we plug in all of our final values, that will tell us what the final pressure is. So pressure is going to be equal to 0.17 moles of argon times the gas constant, which in this case is 8. Point, I always forget, um, it is 8.314, I'm just going to go 31. And then temperature, the final temperature is 5, 573 Kelvin. And that is all over our volume, which is initial and final is the same. So 0 0.00007 meters cubed. Okay, so when we plug that in, we get... So what the calculator will spit out is 11563958. And when you plug it in, it'll tell you that is correct, but it will change it to 1.6 times 10 to the 7, and that is in Pascals. Okay, so now the last part of the question, they say choose the PV diagram that represents the process. So we want some sort of a pressure versus a volume diagram. And we said the volume doesn't change, so whatever it is, it's, it's going to be a vertical line, meaning that our volume here of 0 0.00007 hasn't changed at all. And then our initial temperature is lower than our final temperature, so we'll have our initial here going up to our final. So this is the diagram.